Hello everyone and welcome back. So, <laughs> yeah, got me myself into a really nice holiday routine. Been playing this game for uh, yeah five six days now. So I'm uh, I recently moved. So I'm uh, like. Uh, Finishing up some uh, painting in some rooms, and then I play a game of s or one hour of Civilization, and then I paint a bit and I eat a bit, and yeah, just been a happy, slow <laughs> uh, vacation. But yeah, okay, I have a couple of things that I want to do here, I guess. So let's just do them. Get this guy. Out, let's get a harbor that will stop the starvation here. Also, feel a little bit light height, he light, light headed from the paint. <laughs> and yeah, also, we want to do this. Sure, I think we go for on. Undini next. We have our guys pretty much in position here. So we just need to heal up or use fresh fresh guys. We also have that artillery guy that can join here now, so just wish we had a little bit better angle here. But yeah. Also these guys. Could actually uh, go for them. Better odds are pretty good actually. I don't know. We're better off defending here. There's no. Uh, yeah, I don't see any um, artillery units around. So I actually think he will uh, capitulate really soon. Also, one turn into radio. <coughs> yeah, one big turn into radio, and we'll do a, probably a one couple of small turns. We can pick it up from Sara. We're going to build the the Christo Rodendro, I think it's called. So we can switch, we don't have to switch out of uh, our army producing tech. It's a huge wonder, but uh, I think it's worth it. It's... No, no, no. And you know what? We could actually afford another uh, guy here. Should we get our, some workers up there to finish finish things up? Stop these guys. Get up here. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't uh, finished everything over here, but okay. Should also probably do this. Uh, no, the hospital. Well, yeah. Maybe it's not that important to keep that city growing. But anyways, we have uh, some tanks on their way. That's good. The city, one uh, percent, not great, but uh, we'll live. I don't think we need a banker yet. So I keep getting some. Uh, like we get, the bank will give us twenty-ish gold, but that's nothing. So. Uh, and yeah, for that reason, I actually think we... Uh, let's just do something. Well, let's do it like this. Okay, next turn. Arbor, okay. Grab some uh, wealth there. Don't really have any big reason to do anything here. Battleships, sure.
Well. Yeah. Would actually be pretty nice if we had our religion over there. Let's just keep making some battleships since we have it. Mining executive, sure. Another one. So this guy, right over here. Nice. And yeah, we need to save our gold now. I even think we should just produce wealth over there. Uh, did we send our mining executive down here, didn't we? Probably want one over here. Nice. Unload. So we have uh, four fresh guys here. That's really good. And uh, it didn't counterattack here. <coughs> what did he use? He moved his stack back inside here to heal. Okay. Will we capitulate? Nope. Didn't expect him to, but uh, I'm hoping that he's getting close. Let's see. Our angle here. I wonder. Pretty much going to be the same. Yeah, let's uh, let's do other stuff first. Get some battleships up here. Going to reduce some defense. That's pretty defenseless city. Yeah, we need to go for it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Starting to make up pretty pretty well upgraded these units. I don't mind getting a couple of these guys. Ah, no. It's also pro most likely it's move out time here. Just going to bring our two movement guys, the guys with the city raider tree. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to bring these guys. Put them on this hill. This guy, and then yeah. Should we move our cavalry uh, catapults here? <clears throat> okay. But we are going to focus on this. Um, get our healers back. Damn it, should have made something over here. That's a mistake. And okay.
Return. Quite surprised he didn't and don't want to capitulate. Well, not surprised. It's it's uh, it is shock after all. And uh, let's use these guys like that. Uh, we basically just need some cannon fodder over here. So, um, in literal literal sense, we're going to leave these guys as cannon fodder. Some guys as cannon fodder. Let's bring a couple of these city bombardment guys and. Yeah, you, you stay, you stay, you stay. Let's leave the guys that are weirdly promoted. Uh, the rest of these guys can join. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I really like railroads. Just makes everything more snappy. Heal. Damn it, we had we had the workers. Yeah, I can stay here and heal. And we can bring this guy. Do we want to bring um that's our only intercept uh, aircraft interceptor in that city. Let's make another one. Yeah, let's make a couple of these guys. And yeah, make them in cities that can that are closer. Did someone destroy that market? Probably. Yeah, I saw it. That's a lot of gold per turn as well. Hmm. Everything else seems fine. Boom. Stay. Just upgrade. Let's bring our vision guy. I <clears throat> don't really need him anymore, but sure. And yeah, he's he's starting to feel the pain. Most definitely. My hope right now is that we manage to pick up uh, radio next turn. Let's actually. Try to make sure of that. Let's just do it like this. Well, one more. I don't know. I think we have enough trades on Sara, medicine, and assembly line. I think that's fine. Okay, next turn. <laughs> okay, and he will capitulate. That's that's what we have been waiting for for a long time now. But oh yeah, we made a this guy nice. Nice. Finally, we're going to take that capitulation, of course.
also think we're going to just give back these CDs and go directly for Mr. Uh, other guy. Don't need these CDs. We do want cast here. Beautiful. I must study politics and war that my sons may have liberty. Maybe that's America. even enough here. Philosophy. Oh. Weird stuff with uh, the thing here. Oh yeah. Iron, clam, fish, gold. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give into that. I'm going to give back his cities. Let's see. Colon, I don't want to give away. And soup. This one. Bablo. Kangla. That's probably that one. Kangala. Yeah. Good. That's nice. I wonder if that even put a, puts us in range. So. Now we're going to find a good attack path there and we're going to just take out. Uh, yeah. We have some anti tanks, but. Uh, that's okay. Let's see, can we pick up radio? Combustion. I think we want him at assembly line. He's uh, organized. Then oh. one fine morning, she puts on a New York station. You know, her life was saved by rock and roll. Three turns? Yeah. We can do that in three turns. All right, it's beautiful. So, it railroads on uh, our good tile, sir. Here we go. I guess we just have to do it like this. Of course, it's the last one that's ne that needs the special treatment there. And how is our attack path there? Sure, go for mass media. It's a quite a good tech, actually, even with only five cities. 
That's yeah. Kind of just annoying because they get so many bonuses. I recently also learned when they get reach a new era, the DTIs get five percent production towards everything. Each era gives them five percent uh, production. Just how ridiculous how much bonuses they get. And yeah, Sara and oh this guy, yeah, he has nothing. We need to be a little bit worried down here. Let's get our bat battleships down. Yeah, we don't want any accidents now. Let's move these guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we should attack next turn, not this turn. But what what do we gain from that? Let's see. Yeah, let's just keep by those things that will increase our score back like overall the city just keep growing yeah what do we gain from waiting one more turn here this looks like his stack Well, if we wait one more turn, <coughs> we can probably consolidate our forces a little bit better than what we're doing right now. Do we need to? We can also create better uh, railroad system here. Well, that's part of the consolidation thing. But then again, let's see, one, two. We can get these guys maybe over here. And these guys. Hmm. can get these guys down here you know what I think I'm gonna wait one turn maybe maybe our Arabia will move his units around a little bit yeah I'm going to wait one turn here just make one giant stack of uh, stack of doom doom And we're also going to unload these guys. Yeah. We, um, we are really close to the victory, but I think uh, just waiting another turn is, is the way to go here. This guy over here. Since why not? 
to you guys over here. Also going to move this guy over here. Tiny bit of healing. Get in position. Yes, yes, and yes. Get these guys back. And yeah, looks looks good to me. Also, the units we create right now, well, really matter. We can go in a, into free religion. Are we going to be able to pick up another another thing here? We can stop. We can do this. Yeah, let's just do this. It'll uh, overall help us, I think. And yeah, we want to do this as well. Oh yeah. Nice. But that's also a thing. I don't want him to just send his units over here and take that city by a brick accident. Okay, next turn. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we were hoping for. That he would just run around with his units a little bit. And now we've fixed a lot of unhappiness here. Oh, we lost uh, oil. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. Did we lose access to our oil? Mm -hmm. I think we did. What happened? Radio, does that obsolete anything? No. Yes, we actually did lose access to our oil. Let's see, is this... Oh my god. Yeah. So... Now we know, know what happened. Let's see, we need to just take back one source of oil here. Cannot currently be cancelled, okay. Well, let's see. Well, that wasn't too bad. <clears throat> but okay, now we um, are going to attack. Let's do the recon. So his main army is over here. So I think we just have to get rid of that army. And, and then we'll uh, be okay. We'll do this. I don't want this unit to be suddenly in a really strange location. You can also do this. We can reach ironclads here, building a settler. Okay. And just going to attack. Yeah. 
Sure thing. And alright, now we can just pick up a bunch of units here. Let's use... back to the healing healing guy here let's just leave that guy and these guys where to put them Let's make it easier for Shaka to uh, send his forces in here. Well, this is pretty. This is a good uh, task force to take out this city. Yeah, I think we're just going to head for his capital. Bombard some. Block things off. Should put that city straight into starvation mode. That's nice. Make sure we don't do anything here. And yeah. He has a ton of anti-tanks. Yeah, I think we're better off uh, avoiding that army. Pick up uh, the cavalry here. Can we do it like this? Yeah, we probably can. Don't want to. Yeah, sure. We're way past the point where we need to micromanagement, micromanage everything. Um, let's just Get 
these guys over here. The defensive position. Oh yeah, we even have more guys. And then there's these guys. We have a couple of those anti-tankers. That's a gunpowder unit, I think. I don't think they pose a real threat to our uh, tanks, but let's just upgrade a couple of them. And nice. Intercept chance and stay. Yeah. Just don't want to lose anything here. And yeah. We are in fact going to move these guys forward here. That's pretty solid. <coughs> Chris Redendo, Cristo Redendo is coming up here. That's nice. And um, yeah, pretty much have the had this had a strong tech lead in the entire game. So let's check his counter attacks and. Uh, our wounds. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't think about that deal, to be honest. Another one. Yeah, that's okay. And yeah, first things first. So we have the anti-tankers. 48%. How many of them are there? Yeah, there, it's enough. It's enough that it's going to be a little bit annoying. And you better defend over here. Well, we actually get these dish old sir, so yeah, I think we're just going to go for it. And okay, of course, these ca <laughs> these tanks are, of course, the ones that are not triple promoted. That's a bit annoying. Well, maybe we should then do some other stuff first. Yeah, we can probably take that city, but it will... Uh, since we use so much time on making this kind of uh, uh, battle where we aren't going to lose too much, let's... Let's keep it like that. Yeah. The whole nice and uh, steady approach. It's been uh, it's been working. And let's see, anti tanks can I really attack here? Well, he might actually lose a city, so that's just... <laughs> yeah, that's... Hopefully it won't happen, but maybe it will. Then we have these guys. Let's do this.
get the railroads. I'll try to connect these main cities with the railroads here. So we can, uh, or he more, he can use the railroads. To bring units to the front. Never really understood the, the upgrades on uh, on those type of units or aircraft. They're uh, actually helping them in com combat or what? Yeah, with a couple of city raiders here, we're going to be able to take that city. And yeah. We'll hopefully reinforce her. Let's see. Probably want the railroad over here. Okay, next time turn we take uh, two cities from him probably. It's going to be good. We also get our uh, get our thing here. We show Redendro. Redentor. Yeah. That's nice. Great engineer points. <laughs> we have another workshop we need. We actually have two workshop. Yeah, we did, we should have workshop that way. Way, way, way sooner. Yeah, it's just pissing me off. Let's see if this changes anything. Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. Yeah, I don't want to like end on uh, losing a cities to revolt. It's just annoying. But okay, next turn. Okay, he destroyed some tanks. It's a nice wonder to get. Not needed. It's not needed, but uh, it's a nice wonder. Let's let this guy stay here. Yeah, I think it's more important for our overall score just to keep these uh, cities unrevolted. And he actually attacked us. What did he do? Okay, 50%. Oh, why are these guys so poorly upgraded? <laughs> well, let's just take the capital first. This is going to be uh, not going to be a problem, or less of a problem. Oh, yeah, we even use the blitz. blitz. Okay, well that's nice. Yeah, he has been on the war for a long time. Want to talk? No. Of course not. He want to be. Let's see, let's bring a couple of these guys over here. Can help with some defense. And these guys down here, sure. Let's bring our wounded guys inside the city so they can heal and defend. And get these guys. Oh, 
Yeah, there was a unit there. Of course. I'm of course hoping that we are going to be able to capitulate him this turn. But maybe that's a little bit... Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, come on. There we go. Yeah, that was... That's the stuff we are hoping for. And yes. Good stuff. Yeah, so he, he probably hates our guts. Like... <laughs> because we we destroyed this holy site. Like we, we joined this war, but we weren't particularly particularly nice about it. We uh, yeah, pretty much used him. But yeah, this, however, is a nice thing. I think we're going to unload over here. Well, he's sitting in a fort. That's maybe that's not such a good idea, anyways. We'll do this though. Get a couple more of these guys. And um, yeah, we are going to keep moving here just a little bit. That's nice. Wait. There we go. And yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, we only have one guy that needs more healing. So. Let's send these guys to the front. Yeah, just like that. Let's see, any major stacks over there? No. Probably not. Nope. Nothing. So, uh, yeah, we could actually have gone for that city as well. Can I go into that tile? Yeah, probably should have done that. Well, I don't know. I don't think it will matter too much, but... I think this is a... Uh, like his next capital is more of an important thing to get. Uh, let's put one of these... bunch of anti-tankers here. Anti-anti-tankers, I mean. Smash his stuff, who knows? It will uh, give us a tiny, tiny, tiny advantage. And railroad his stuff. Okay, we want these units nice and agile so they can uh, quickly enter the battlefield. That's nice. Oh, and we also got some capture gold. We'll trade rocketry. Well, that's okay. Yeah. That's a nice we little thing. Mine, but one so actually, Sharka is one of the better techers, I guess. Well, conversion is a big tech medicine. And railroads, no radio, so... Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but okay. Yeah, of course, oh, of course. Oh, come on, why do you have to be like that? 
we have an adjust ruler but okay I think it will capitulate next turn so how's a global happiness yeah it's not doing too bad actually Gondar where is that city Yeah, well this is this is this is nice. Let's try to pick up plastics as well. And okay. Oh yeah, he will capitulate. We don't need to take that last city. That's really 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 nice. And we can uh, wrap this game up. No. Yeah. Just to automate everything here. I'm going to just take this capitulation right now. Get him out of cast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he really, really likes cast. But okay, doesn't really matter. You can do it like that. So, uh, Saladin. I think we're going to keep his cities. I think that will give us the most, most uh, score. And... Um, we are just going to produce well everywhere now and try to pick up the last bit of plastics let's see so we'll do uh, this and this this should be getting uh, more of a focus on great people then or maybe not Yeah, it definitely helped, but maybe as not as much as I was hoping it would. So we need to pick up a little bit amount of gold here. Hmm. Stalin. Need a hundred more. Okay. Let's do something like this, maybe. Yeah, iron, dice, corn, fish, aluminum, it's a big one, silk, sure. Uh, okay, I was expecting that to actually help a little bit more, but okay. Uh, hmm. Well, if we move our units inside our borders, that will, uh, or inside the cities, that will help. We have to get into our own cities, though. Didn't really help. Yeah, we have a crazy. Yeah, we overcompensated on the units there. Probably would have been able to win. I don't like this. Yeah, we probably would have been able to win a little bit sooner, but... Alright, that helps. Hmm. 
Hmm, is there a way for us to just finish this thing in style? The brand new tech. And okay, we also need to do stuff like... Yeah, we're going to need to do stuff like this as well. Because... One more population in this city. That will account for some score. Capital. Can't really grow here. Can't really grow here. Yeah, we oh, we were so close. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. We just need one little. Man. Yeah. Yeah, we are so stupidly close. I'm actually going to just tinker a little bit until we get it. There we have it. Okay. So no rivals this turn. Just sleeping everything here. Yeah, no rivals this turn, and we can claim our, our uh, victory. And pick up uh, plastics. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah. Open borders with him will also help. Nope. And there we have it, and let's claim our conquest there. Oh, nope. Get back, lost, no. There we go. I just want to say one word to you. <laughs> just one word. Amazing. So, yeah. In that video. So, that was a long game. I used way too much time on this game, but okay, we finally did it, so we're going to play this, and uh, yeah, all because of our start, we got a little bit wonky start, I think, I was thinking isolation, so that's also a thing I really like with Fractal, I have no idea what's going on around me, so I was thinking isolation for a longer period of time, and kind of, if we... Settle on that marble, maybe we can even pick up uh, the oracle, that's a really unusual thing, but we also get fail gold from Temple of Armedis, and we didn't mess up our stuff here, because we, um, yeah, we can build the oracle really fast with the marble, and we also get fail gold from Temple of Armedis, and we can get a religion with uh, a couple of fast uh, great persons, because Eventually, you need to bulb your way either to astronomy or something else. So I was doing that for multiple reasons. And the other reason was that we also could claim our borders. Oh, come on. Well, I'm going to go back to that, but let's just quickly check here. Yeah, so we could claim our borders. We killed a ton of units here. So this is about 200, no, 100. 200, 
250. We killed about 250 units. Uh, let's say let's say uh, 300, and we lost. Okay, and yeah, we didn't lose that. 30, 40, 50. Let's say around 60 units. So that's a kill. 60 lost and about 300 killed. That's a pretty good ratio. So that's uh, yeah. Need to do it the other way around. Sixty. That's five five kills per death ratio, and he used twenty hours on this game. Jesus, and we got a pitiful score. <laughs> but okay, let's see where is it. Here it is. Yeah, but uh, we got the oracle here. It was a really late oracle, but then again. We got it, so it didn't matter, and we also got a lot of failed goals. We had a superb tech, and with our f fast uh, artist uh, scientist here, we had a superb tech position. Being financial, having those cottages, and yeah, doing all that things, that was just a blast, actually. We got our free border pops because of it, and uh, yeah, these other guys they started worrying. We had had a real big concern about Stalin for a long time here as soon as we met him. But uh, really glad that they started the war that slowed them down greatly. So that kind of a perfect position there. Don't expect to get into that sort of a situation too often. Because Stalin, on your being neighbors to Stalin, we got him into our religion, but he would definitely have attacked us. I think we prepared in such a way that we could have defended, but it will definitely change how the game uh, game ended up. And then we have Gandhi on this on the coast here, picking up all the wonders. That was kind of okay. Glad they ended up being in a war. So when we finally started to take over this. Uh, here we had way superior economy and tech advantage so and Stalin was so backwards because he's been fighting <laughs> he's kind of been isolated because he was in a different religion and have been fighting the entire game so he was a really easy target to pick off and yeah, then everything just uh... and yeah then everything just kind of folded into our line here So I guess, yeah, the game weren't that bad. The the, the more of the the more annoying thing, well, was how we're going to take out Sharka because he had fighting been fighting against Arabia for the entire game basically, like on and off. We bribed him off two times, I think. So he was just stacking up his major army. He was. The city leader for a long time as well, and he had just building up a crazy amount of uh, army. So I don't, even though we had a good tech advantage on him, well, he got he got actually got the infantry. So we didn't really have that great of an advantage on him when we started the war. But if we hadn't waited for him to attack Arabia and started to head into him. We could actually delay this game by like, I don't know, a ton of turns. So the guerrilla tactics really were, I think they were really necessary to just get the thing going. But as we started to wipe out his major stacks and start to take cities, we probably could have sped it up a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, it actually worked. And then we... Switch to Arabia and took him out in like two turns later. So, uh, yeah. Overall, 20 hours. That's a lot of turn, a lot of hours. Basically, been my whole Christmas break, <laughs> or a, a good part of it. Also, have 20 episodes, so it's going to be a long while to upload these to YouTube. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this. 
I'll see if I'll make another game eventually, but well, I probably will. It's just that it takes a long time to do this sort of thing. But yeah, please le le leave a comment if you want to see anything in particular or something, and I'll look into it to see if I can pull something off. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, this has been a great uh, thing here. So uh, yeah, I have to save the game, I guess. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next uh, next game, I guess. So see you soon.